that token can go token itself. There anything over here? No. There is a couple notes over here. And you're probably telling me through the screen that the Croctus is over there, which I know. I'm going over there right now. Don't you worry. Is it? No. I thought he was over there, but he's actually not. It looks like that little corner from the cutscene, but he's not there. What a bitch. Yeah, I think he's over here. Yep, there he is. Okay. Yeet! There you go. Now he's in that area. Ho 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 ho. What a dumbass. I think I'm just about done with everything. And then we can turn into the clock Odile. So, we're gonna do that in a bit. I'm gonna finish with Croctus. Ow! That hurts my donkey donk. I don't know. I need that health. Not technically, but it's always better to have more health than a low number of them. Because you never know what the stupid enemies in this game. <laughs> huh. All right. That is some good shooting there, partner. I guess I'll grab that one just to have an even 30 tokens. Whoa! Woohoo! Close. That was close. Too close. Alright, where the hell did he show up now? He showed up up there. Whoa, 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 camera, camera, camera. Stop trying to hurt your poor boy. Woo! Ho, what? Ho, what? Ho, what? There you go. Oh, thank you for bouncing over to me. Okay, go away, you stupid bullcrap. Nobody likes you. Yeah, I haven't been up here yet. That is not the flap flip jump. Back, back flip. There's a couple red feathers in here, but I don't want, oh. Just blue eggs and a feather. Nope. Okay. What do we got? Hmm. Speaking of vile. Does that mean that we, the, since we're now vile, he automatically forfeits the Jiggy over, so we don't have to play that game. Now we still have to play it, but we are going to be in for a surprise here, so... Be ready to see the almighty crocodile. Good lord. Okay, ooh, Jiggy. Does that mean that... When we beat him, it's going to be a Momo token. If that's the case, then that will be pretty much a waste of time. But we're still going to do it anyway, because then I guess you want to see the game, don't you? So I guess we're going to do it. We do have the shoes, which would definitely help, even though you could definitely beat this without needing the shoes. But you are slower and, well, it can be a little difficult, but with the shoes, it's definitely easier to do this. We're gonna play, dumbass. Yeah, man. Give me that! Did I even get that? And of course, the Jiggy music plays when you get the running shoes. 
how I would, you know. Oh, that's mine. He's not even increasing his count. Uh, he did there, but... Because he's so big, he's... He's reaching a little much. Oh, wow. This is probably the most I've gotten. Oh! Nice. 34. I believe that's a record for me. Oh, give me that. Give me that. And the shoes wore off. Time to get a new pair. That's the jiggy theme that plays when we get the new shoes. That's weird. There's two more over here. Give me that one. You don't deserve that. Will you stop getting in my way with your big fat son of a son of a son of a Get out of my way, dude. Seriously, get out of my way. <laughs> I am under the big crocodile. That is not a good place to be. They are heavy eyes crap. But it's nice though that we are beating him. Hello? No! Okay, we're good. Pop, 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 pop. Ah, uh, I need new shoes. Oh, don't go down in the ground without me eating your butt. That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. Eating these little grumblies, yumblies, whatever you want to call them. They don't really have butts. Technically, you can't see it anyway, so who cares? So it's basically just a head. I don't... Ignore me. Will you let me have... The food. Will you stop doing that, you stupid, stupid man? Oh, come on. This is not cool. What? Oh, my God. Chop my butt. There we go. I'm gonna get the shoes so I can start immediately. A to play, B to run. Okay. Oh, mine. Where are the yellows? Give me that yet. Will you stop getting in my way, you stupid idiot? Oh my god. Move your big clock behind. I should win this, no problem now. Huh? Yep, okay, good. Whew. Mr. Vile never look. Go away. Mr. Vile, Vile is baddest crock of all. Look, everyone, Greenie is scurrying off. I beat you for the jiggy. You're not the baddest anymore, so you suck. Okay. I still don't have all the notes or the last ginger, so I gotta get that. So let's do it while we're still here before we leave the level because if I leave the level now to get that Cheeto book then I'm gonna lose all those notes and that is that will never do 
And we also, we also gotta check every nook and cranny because there's a lot of notes that are in those little nooks and crannies as well. Well, did I? Oh, there's a note. Could have missed that, but nope. Okay. How many notes do you think we'll have for Bubble Gloop Swamp? 89, 90, or 91? I think it's gonna be 90 this time, but we'll see. Did I get all of the collectibles? I think I did, but it doesn't help with these pillars getting in the way and the camera changing angles all the time. But there's the last Jinjo. So we'll get that. Stop holding me, you stupid bees. I would I believe that's all the notes. 85, that's not all of them right now though. We got 10 of 10 bubble glitch swamp jiggies. That is awesome. We need four, five, or six more notes. Hmm. Where would they be though? Oh, there's one right here. So that's 86. Grab it. Fucking no eyed quack. I believe I have all the notes, so we're gonna leave now. Hopefully, 86 is the actual number of notes in this level, which I'm pretty sure it is, but we'll see. We'll have to see when we beat the other levels. If it turns out that we are maybe three or four sort and I know I've done the rest of them in the other worlds um what huh okay then so you can't actually kill that mummy Jinjo as a crocodile that is horrendous Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Yep, we got the blue eggs here. Right, blue eggs. So when we enter the code on the sandcastle floor, blue eggs, we'll get, I think double or even more of the eggs. So we'll find out near the end of the game. I'm not gonna get it right now, but near the end of the game, when we're getting ready to fight against Squinty, and when we when we do, if we do the stop and swap codes, I'll also do the Cheeto codes as well at the same time and go from there. Okay, so I'm going to, I did say I was going to go into that warp, in order to actually get to the upper level. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll see you when we get into uh, Mad Monster Mansion. I am going to see if this crocodile can fit in that hole in that little house where we raised the water level of up to Rusty Bagger Bay. Although technically, while we're here, we can go and see Bruntilda over here and Shido. I'm going to see if I can do this Ayuto Crocodile, which we should be able to. There's no reason why this wouldn't work with the Crocodile, because the Crocodile, along with the Pumpkin, can fit in the small hole, so... Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has dirty undies hanging from the ceiling. Oh my god. Dirty un undies, yeah. She also has an eyeball flower growing in a pot beside her bed. Filthy old bag. Eyeball flower, huh? Little foreshadowing the Banjo Tui in Cloud Cuckoo Land, oh my god. I believe. 
and you'd be sick if you saw her enormous spotty purple undies. Damn right I would be sick. There's so many stairs in my lair, they always make me gasp for air. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so yeah, we can go into the hole as the clock. So yeah, let's get the red feathers. Let's cheat. And go from there, and then I'll see you in uh, that little sack. Alright, here it is, the moment of truth. Oh, good lord, really? So the, the one leading the Cheeto is much smaller, and we can fit in that with the crocodile, but we can't fit in here unless we're the pumpkin. Oh, that's some BS right there. My filthy bed gives me a rest. I never was. I saved my cash. Boo here. Well, I guess we have to go back to Bubble Gloop and transform back because even though this crack can bite, it can't break doors. Well, I have to reset the game now. Cause unfortunately, the way into Mumbo's skull is no longer available. Damn it. Oh, I'm gonna have to save and quit and go from there. Wow. Oh wait, right, here we are. Finally, here I step. Acorn, go away, Banjo B. Nobody likes you. Not as an enemy, anyway. Okay, it's turned back into the Baron Bird. It sucks that we can't come in here as the crocodile because, well, it can fit in smaller spaces than that crop. And yeah. Ow! Take that. You suck. You suck! Alright, there we go. Hey, Rusty Bucket. Hey! Okay. Now we can change back. I said now we can change back. While we're almost off of the skull there. Okay. Pumpkin making Mumbo hungry. Make it pot ready. No way. This is an acorn. It's not gonna taste too good, bro. Okay. I go away, you stupid bull. I've learned this spell. It's really neat. I'll keep it later for your treat. Okay, don't go in Treasure Troll. That is a bad idea. If you try and do the death warp, then you're gonna appear back at the little sack. So I'm gonna have to go through the entire fucking layer to get back to where I was. Wait a minute. I can't break the door as the acorn to get back on the mumbo skull. Okay, here I am at 3GG, but I'm gonna stop the video here. I don't know how long I've been recording. Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Bencho Kazooie Randomizer. Today, we are gonna be doing 3GG Peak Oh, but did you know that I was able to get the background on the pause screen back? That's because apparently switching the graphics plugin over to Glide apparently fixed the issue. I don't know why I wasn't notified about this earlier, but okay. So now I can actually properly see what's in the background. We are in 3 GD Peak. I loaded the save state and here we are. And we're going to be doing this level 100%, but before I get into that, the other day I had bought, I think yesterday, well, no, Friday I bought it 
yesterday I got it. Wow, that, that works. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I got a Hyperkin N64 to USB adapter. So what that means is that I can now actually use authentic N64 controllers. Like this one. And this one. And my red one. Watermelon colored N64. But uh, yeah, about that. N now that I can use the N64 controller, the original one, not the one with the pops, the popped up control stick, that's an actual USB N64 controller, but yeah, I was thinking about using my gold N64 controller for this, but apparently with the joystick, and it was more noticeable in talent swap mode, it, it had Joy-Con drift, or joystick drift, so Kazooie was going to the left and walking slowly or in any other direction. There was a little bit of it here as well. Here, I'll show you. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's really normal. It wasn't doing that with the USB N64 controller, but I guess with the actual N64 controllers, the Joy-Cons are so old that we are bound to have drift in them but we didn't have that with the xbox controller because they're gonna have the drift but oh well i think i'll trade a little bit of drifting just a little bit it's not as bad on this one but i can actually use the controller now so that's nice okay so what are we doing we are here in 3cd peak we are going to do the rest of it so, nine jiggies, two empty honeycombs. We spent 12 minutes on this level. Probably me talking. But yeah, let's go. We got more to do, so let's go. Okay, before I go over there, apparently there's a couple notes over here that are not here originally, so there we go. Let's go in here, this is the tree. I don't know. Hey, alarm clock. I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. Will do. So one of the, uh, the present's face turned into an alarm clock. At least with the red one. I think the blue and green presents are different. Oh no, that was the green pre No. I'm not sure now. But, oh well. Yep, I gotta find the entrance to Buggy's house, or igloo. Because I think Mumbo's skull was normal. And, but I can't get into Waz's, or could I? Could I get into Waz's cave? I think one of the... I think one of the, uh, what do you call it, the warps took me into Wazzy's cave, or at least out of it. So, there we go. Now we can actually, since we do have eggs now, we can actually turn that button on and I can do the blind, so. Will you get out of here? Oh my god. Go. There you go. Hey! Yeet where I want you to yeet, yo! Huh. Well, that's the end of the game right there. Woo! Did I get this yet? Oh, that, that, that was the end. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. <laughs> it's been a little bit since I recorded, but... Apparently you can forget quite a bit in uh, over 24 hours, so... Woo! Can I get it? What am I doing? I'm supposed to go through the star. Why did, why did no one tell me? <laughs> you were probably screaming through the screen at me to go through the star. <laughs> I almost forgot about this. <laughs> okay, there's one... I said there's one... Whoa! 
will you get in there? They took. Wait, what? I thought I did it. Well, that was a fail if I ever saw one. I was trying to get through it the second time, but it didn't work. And then I thought I just saved it at the end, but no. The game decided, no, that they can count. Do it again. You suck. Okay. This time, I am prepared. Why? Because I'm not gonna waste time going over the bottles and collecting stuff. This time, we are actually going to do the flying and get through the stall. I do have Beat Ball. Okay. I can't remember where I got it, though. <laughs> what? Did he get ho going through? Where did you get in there, you stupid bear? Okay, sounds like... What the hell happened to you? <laughs> it sounded like Benjo got hurt going through the stars three times. Oh. So that's where the sound effect went to, apparently. I don't know. Also, this is... Ah, this is where they go we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care about that. Wow, thank you, brown bear. Now we just need to get the blue one for that guy, but we can't get it yet until we go way over there, wherever it was. Yeah, here. This is where it goes. And apparently I can't exit because apparently where the walrus goes, when the walrus goes right there, an invisible wall shows up. That is so mean. That walrus is a mean banjo. But whatever. We're in Wazzer's cave, we can actually get the stuff while we're here. And then when we come back as the walrus, which, if you know, Banjo the walrus is right there, that means we'll change into Waza. And then when we get in here, we'll go down there and, and be on our merry way. Now, Echo in here takes us over to... Boggy Giggle, will you stop drifting? Wow. I still gotta test out my red controller and see how that one fares compared to the blue controller. Cause this is ridiculous. Maybe, yeah, there is a joystick replacement that you can do with the controller. Like, uh, you can get like a, a GameCube replacement. You can get like an N64 control stick replacement, basically resetting the joystick drift. But I would have to get one of those first. So I can't remember if I got the Jinjo Jiggy or not. But we're gonna collect them again anyway just because. Okay, ow! Stop hitting me, asshole! Yeah, you're a dick, you know that? I I do have Big Bomb. We can try and kill these guys. Stop them from being so annoying and killing me. Because they did do that last time we were here. If you can get your freaking saddle butt up there. Now the problem is... Now the problem is actually trying to hit them. Cause they're tiny. Oh, okay. okay, so at least that guy is 
gone. Very nice. Okay, we can get this guy too, and that'll be that. I can just get this guy and then we can... Well, we can probably try and get the rest of the guys while we're in the air, but if I land, we'll do something else. Whoa! Yeah, we'll do something else. Well, I do gotta get the rest of them, because there is a Jiggy, so I might as well. That way we can get all of them out of the way. There is a Jinjo behind here. Good thing I remembered the check. Okay. Get up there. Ah, uh, yeah, you go. Yeah, that little joystick drift is gonna be a little annoying, but... Okay. What can you do? Oh, crap. Oh, come on. The sad part is we can't actually pick them in the hat to destroy them. They can only be destroyed with uh, the beat bomb, so. Oh, well. I'm just gonna go up here. We'll get back to the flying pad in a bit, cause there's one up on the snowman. But before we get there, I'm just going to collect everything here. You are go- Well, goodbye that guy. I tried to kill him, but I decided to spare, spare his life and let him walk off the platform. Take me to the kids, I'm the last one! Which we now know that the entrance to the igloo is going into the Christmas tree, so we'll get there eventually. Okay, that's everything there. How many of you guys are actually annoyed by Kazooie's... It doesn't really bother me as much, but... I wonder how you guys feel about that, Kazooie running. Especially in speed runs, because you would use Kazooie a lot, because she's faster than- Ow! Ow! Wow, that was close. Because she's faster than Banjo, so you would use her a lot, do a lot of jumping going fast, and yeah, that can get a little annoying, to say the least, but oh well. Okay, where are we going? Yeah, we are going to blast Big Bomb at the rest of the snowman. Oh, do we have to get pretty low to get this done? Oh, co really? I can't just do this, because it doesn't work. Wow. Give me the note. Woo. Oh wow. Okay, I need... Stop doing that. You know what? I need you. And I need you now. I know it is a little... I got all three of them, okay. I didn't see the second one. Well, hey, you passed the best no score for this world. Oh. Okay. I just had these two guys, well, I have three of them because I missed the one guy way over there. Oh, come on. You know what? Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, good. I got that guy. Got him. Go. Whew. Okay, one more to go. Where are you? Okay. Let's go up a bit. Let's not miss. Oh. Really, dude? 
Can I destroy them with... Nope, okay. Well, we now know the gold feathers do not work. So sad. You think it would destroy any enemy, but alas, it does not. Whoa! Get up there! I said get up there! Thank you, alright. It is surprisingly a little difficult trying to get these guys when they're small like this. Stop drifting! Oh, okay, good. Alright, I'm going to go all the way up to get this. We don't have that many feathers left. Kind of sad. And the skybox is Rusty Bucket Bay. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but it's Rusty Bucket. And I think because of the uh, Glide uh, graphics plugin, it kind of ruined what the eggs look like. It's purple right now. So I think because of that, it's blending the two colors together. The Jiggy's normally being yellow, so the eggs are yellow. But because of this being purple, it's mixing the two colors together. So <laughs> that's because of the Glide plugin, I, be I believe. So, oh well, something a little different, I guess. It, it's not, it doesn't hurt. It's still a Jiggy, just now with two colors. We're cool with that, right? All right. Look way out there. Will you stop drifting? My God. Okay. Doesn't look too bad here. And considering this is a snow world, snow and ice, it makes sense with the water being out there looking frozen as well, so it kind of fits. Woo! Yeah, there's a grunty layer of some sort. Can't remember which area this takes place in, though. I think this is Clanker's Cavern. It could be. Alright. Now where do I go now? Hmm. I guess I could fly. It is a long way up and I don't want to die. Not now. Especially when we're this deep in notes. So I'll just go down all the way. And I guess we can go down and get give the present to that last little bear. And get a jiggy from him. Or from all of them. Whew! Oh! Let's get in there. Yippee! Now we all got our presents. Here's something for you. Oh, now that's normal. Okay, I guess it's not showing up every time, but... Okay, cool. Woo! Oh, I, ooh, now we're back here again, really. Hmm. Not cool. Not cool, Banjo Wallace. Nice music. A lot of music is great in this game. All the music, actually. Okay. I'm not gonna get exit the level yet. That would be stupid. Hey! 200 eggs! Can, do we have more than 200? Yes! Oh my god! More than 200 eggs! Who would have thought? Okay. I did already hit the switch, which, because of the fact that with the tiny snowman, you can actually hit the side and actually get the switch. So that's something. Woo! Okay, let's go over here.
I believe that's only a honeycomb and I do need them. So basically I already collected what- Whoa! Well, good job Benjo for wasting a honey that we just got. Did I get the- No, I haven't. We still have the buttons to do, so let's do that. We're gonna speed through this quite quick. Well, it'll be a little slower if the wall was because we gotta go around and collect all those notes. Now it's blue. Wow. Snowman, are you feeling all right? You're kind of clapping out colors at this point. Okay. Let's get this. Well, I'll leave it for now. We can just collect it as Waza. So now I think I can just go and visit Mumbo. Oh. Ow, that hurts. Pretty interesting how Mumbo's skull is now a stop and swap location. Okay, landing right on it and transforming. Nice. Okay. Now we're big and huge with no eyes. Waza, you are insanely creepy. With no eyes. Okay, so Mumbo's skull is the only one that's vanilla, normal, with uh, all the warps in this level, which is, well, no, Wazzy's entrance, Wazzy's cave is normal too, so, that's something. Okay, we're gonna get this note right here, because this guy was annoying for taking out with the big bomb. I suppose I could could get more feathers. We used a lot of them. And unfortunately, I can't increase the red feather count more than 43 until we get to Cheeto and input the cheat. Uh, what is that? Oh, now it's gone. Okay. There it is. That is weird. Wow. It went from blue to yellow to pink purple. I wonder if it'll change to other colors as well. But I think that's just the effect of the glide graphic plugin. If I left it normal, it would have been normal, but in that case, we wouldn't have this glorious pause screen here with the beautiful background. So, okay, we are the walrus. So, well, yeah. We gotta race Boggy at some point. Okay, there is an enemy right here. I don't like that. Whew. He did not hit me. Hey, Mr. Wallace, fancy your race. Hop on the sled if you do. We are big. Get on. Thank you. Great. Now all you need to do is steal your sled through the red, red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? 3, 2, 1, go. Ho! Oh. And the flags are also in different locations. The music is speeding up. Whoa, come on. The bottles puzzle game is sped up for some reason, but that's because we're in a race. That is pretty intense. Go away, buggy! Oh, come on! Go, you stinking fat 
Wallace. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, 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 Ha! Whew! You're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to raise some of my own shot. Have you seen this guy? He's huge! You got beat by a huge walrus! Whew! It's safe for Banjo Walrus to come out. Hello, Ginger. Alright, where was the other guy? Don't really remember where that last Jinjo is, but we'll get him eventually. Hey, single note. 79, alright. That was pretty close, I almost didn't beat Wallace, I mean... <laughs> I almost didn't beat Boggy. So... That would have been bad. Well, not really. You don't really lose health or lose a life or anything if you lose so boggy, but... It would have sucked having to do the race over again. Hey! Hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around. Walrus Cave? You mean my cave? I'm Walrus, just with no eyes. You are Benjo Walrus. You are trespassing in my home. Mumbo Skull, really? No! Oh! There's the ginger. Hey, now it's dark blue. Or regular blue. So, apparently, all the empty honeycombs were taken out of this level. So we get them somewhere else. Hmm. Cause both of them in this level were mumbo tokens. So sad. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay. Right here is good. Wow. Hey! It is weird with the transformation not having the eyeballs in the right places, but the eyes would normally be where the normal transformation eyes are, so they will be in a different place, probably inside the body. But it would be great if the transformations were fixed and having the eyeballs again, but not even the glide Graphics plugin can save that. Okay, we're just about done with the notes. Nine more, and then I think we should be good with this level. I don't think there's anything else to get in this level. Well, other than, yeah, we gotta face Boggy with the second race with the suit, which I, I do have. So. We gotta do that. I think that one's the last Jiggy for us to get. Cause we already got the present from the kids. Oh yeah, we also need to get that Jiggy from inside the tree. Cause I haven't got that yet. So we will get there when we get there. Three more notes. Oh boy. Where are those three notes? Do you know where they are? We had 89 notes on a couple of levels, 91 in Mad Monster Mansion. You are taking up the whole entrance, wow. We had 90 in a couple levels. This one, I think, would have the most at 97, but I wonder if we'll have 